This love, it is a distant star Guiding us home wherever we are So this is a shelf that's not really books but it's got loads of different boxes on it. This is one that Cecily made me for my 17th birthday and I love it to pieces, it's so cute. There's loads of butterfly confetti inside it that just fell out. Hang on, let me try and focus the camera on it. Is it going to focus? Uh, there we go. So that's what she put inside it and it was all shiny and lovely and really pretty. Then I have a little jar with all of these badges in it that I collect. I, they used to be on my school bag. Um, I have this one from the ski trip that I went to in Vermont and loads of other ones too. I also have this picture of me and my brother and my dad on the other side. It's me as a baby. Wasn't I cute? No, I wasn't. That's my brother. He's cuter. Don't look at me. Look at him. And my dad's on the other side. I don't have a picture of my mum, which is odd, so I should probably get one of those. Then I have my TBR jar that I actually redid because it wasn't neat enough for me. Yeah. You'll probably realise that I'm a bit of a neat freak throughout this tour. <laughs> Let me just try and focus the camera. And the next little thing we have is the Goodyear box, which is this box here. It's basically a project that I started that Cecily gave me the idea for, and also the paper to make the box. And the whole idea is that every time something good happens to you in a year, you write it down and put it into the Goodyear box. So I'm going to do that and see how it goes at the end of the year. So this is my YA shelf. It looks a little bit like this from afar. And I'm going to go through all of the books on here. I have my little John Green collection here. I have The Fault in Our Stars, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, An Abundance of Catherines, and Severed Heads, Broken Hearts by Robin Schneider, which I read over the summer. I've actually done this in an order of style rather than author or anything else, but I just like the way it looks. Then I have Paper Towns, The Universe vs. Alex Woods, M.T. Anderson's Feed, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, Shift, Elixir, Delirium, The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry, The Looking Glass Wars, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, and When She Woke, The Land of Decoration, and Hunting Lila. I also have The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, You Against Me, Slated, The Night Circus, The Perks of Being the Wallflower, which is one of my all-time favourite books, Shatter Me, Infinite Sky, Insurgent, Divergent, Looking for Alaska, Sarah's Key, Fangirl, and Eleanor and Park. This is like my shrine to Rainbow Rowell. It's like just there. Looking beautiful. So here I have my Dickens shelf, courtesy of my Nana. It looks a little bit like this, and it usually gleams out from behind me in my videos. This entire shelf was given to me by my nan, and she even knitted me tiny little Dickensian mice, which is so adorable. This is the lady one. She has like a little hand warmer, and oh, they're so adorable. I have the guy one over here. He is little he, little one here. He's got a little lantern too, which is so adorable. They're so lovely. The story behind these books is that my nana had them on her shelves. She found them in her loft in one of her houses and she decided that she wouldn't read them and I would get more enjoyment out of them and it's so sweet. They're all leather bound and I believe the year that they were first made were in the 1800s so these are really really old and gorgeous vintage antique books. I have Life and Characters, Oliver Twist, and Great Expectations, Smart on Chuzzlewit, Sketches by Boz, which is something he did for a newspaper because he started out in a newspaper. Also in this volume, I have Hard Times. I have Barnaby Rudge and Edwin Drood, Bleak House, A Tale of Two Cities, and American Notes. The Old Curiosity Shop and Uncommercial Traveller, David Copperfield, Charles, History of England and... Christmas Stories and the Pickwick Papers, which is something else he did in a newspaper, if you can see it on the end just there. Nana, if you're watching this, thank you so much for this shelf. It's probably one of my favourites. Here I have my series slash darker coloured books shelf. I have this lovely little chalkboard that I wrote books on because I could. 
I have the first four books in the Mortal Instruments series, which I haven't read yet, but I have City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, and City of Fallen Angels. Then I have my wonderful copies of The Hunger Games. I love them to pieces. I have The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. Finally, I have the Maze Runner trilogy, which is The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, and The Death Cure. I haven't read them yet, but I am really excited to. After this, I have Knife by RJ Anderson, which my friend Izzy recommended to me. She is obsessed with this author and has read every single one of their books. Finally, I have The Host by Stephanie Meyer, which I still haven't read yet, but I will. Next, I have my adult slash classics shelf, I guess. I don't really know what else to call it, but I have quite a lot of these. So I've got The Light Between Oceans by M. L. Stedman, The Red House by Mark Hedden, The Book of Zelda Fitzgerald, which has just got Z on the front of it, The Hundred Year Old Man Who Climbed Out of the Window and Disappeared, Cloud Atlas, The Forests, If Nobody Speaks of Remarkable Things by John McGregor. I actually met John McGregor um, at the Oxford Literary Festival that I volunteered at, and he signed my copy, and hang on. I will show you guys. I saw him, and he was really great. He was a really cool guy. His talk was amazing, and I was actually entrusted with this prop, and it was a suitcase. It was vital to his talks, and the people who um, were in charge of the literary festival just said to me, this prop is essential for his talk. Make sure it gets there and don't lose it. And I was just stood there like, please don't entrust me with something this important. Like, ah, what if I lose it? Moving on, I have Engleby by Sebastian Fox, Revolutionary Road, Douglas Adams's The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which I only have the first one of, but I really loved it. And hopefully I'll read the rest of them one day. Oh, one day. I'm so funny. Pun. Um, that was unintentional, by the way. Yeah, so I have One Day by David Nichols. I have The Book Thief by Marcus Susak. And I also have The Air Affair by Jasper Ford. Moving on towards the right, I have The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. This is my Lord of the Rings box set that my brother was going to chuck out, but I was like, no, I will be having them, thank you very much. This is my second-hand copy of Wicked. I have The Court of the Air. And then, after this, we get into some hardcore classics. We have Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, Thackeray's Vanity Fair, which is huge. I didn't expect it to be that big. I have Macbeth by William Shakespeare, a little tiny book that Jane Austen wrote about the kings and queens of England, which is really witty and really funny. I then have Homer's Odyssey, um, yep, yeah, which is daunting. I have E.M. Forster's Where Angels Fear to Tread, The Turn of the Screw and Daisy Miller by Henry James, and Washington Square by Henry James also. Then I have Sylvia Plath's The Bell Jar, St. Lucy's Home for Girls Raised by Wolves, which is a collection of short stories, Animal Farm by George Orwell, which we studied at GCSE level, F. Scott Fitzgerald's is The Great Gatsby, We by some unpronounceable Russian author, which was apparently the first dystopian ever, and The Library of Unrequited Love by Sophie Divry, which is a French translated soliloquy, which I really enjoyed. Right, we're on to the bottom shelf, which I'm going to try and do quickly because my camera's a really odd angle and I'm scared it's going to fall over. So, in case you haven't noticed, this is my Harry Potter shelf. I have my Golden Snitch, my Bertie Bot's Every Flavour Beans, which are empty because they were so delicious, I just couldn't stop eating them, and I have my Spectrospex, which are so amazing. Everything looks like rainbows through them. I'm going to see if it's going to work with the camera. Hopefully it does. Yes! Look! Oh my gosh, it makes everything look rainbowy. Rainbowish. Is that a word? I don't know. Oh well. Um... <laughs> I have my Harry Potter film wizardry book, which I have read cover to cover. I absolutely adore this. It's basically just all about how they made the films and just all of the props and stuff and costumes and it's just so good. I have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and Quidditch Through the Ages, both of the Hogwarts editions. I have the very first edition of Harry Potter and 
the US version, which is the Sorcerer's Stone, because we were out there when it first came out and we wanted to read it. I have So You Think You Know Harry Potter, which is the best Harry Potter quiz book you will ever find. I have The Tales of Beedle the Bard, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows, and a Hogwarts acceptance letter that my friend Emma bought me for my birthday. It's freaking amazing. It's so cool. I'm going to show it to you because I can. It has a little Marauder's Map in there with a map of Hogwarts on it, and it's really cool. And then I have my ticket to Platform 9 and 3 quarters. I also have my letter. Oh yeah. Oh, look. It's addressed to me. Oh. How cool is that? And then I've got my list of things that I have to buy. And it's all lovely, and it's got my initials on it. It's so great, and thank you, Emma. That is one of the greatest presents I have ever received in my entire life.